Hello everybody! Now that uh, Escape from Tarkov just released into 1.0, I uh, figured I'd make a little video about me having uh, my uh, setup optimized from the BIOS. Like, how I do stuff in the BIOS and general stuff in the, in the Windows. So uh, let's uh, just jump in. The first thing you need to do, make sure you have the latest chipset driver. So go into your uh, your brand and find your uh, uh, find your motherboard drivers. Uh, go in here and find the chipsets. Uh, very important here to see that uh, this number right here, version number. Uh, the version number right here is the same as uh, programs and features and. Like, you go where to uninstall programs, find the chipset software, and you see the same number here, and the version. This is the same as this one. Very important to have that, the latest chipset driver. Then, we uh, boot the, the, the PC into BIOS, and do some changes in there as well. And when your PC is starting up again, you just spam delete for me, at least. Now I didn't do it, so we have to restart the computer again. This is my BIOS, and then I go into advanced mode, uh, into AI tweaker. Very important to put the, uh, the RAM profiles into the right one. For me, it is Expo number two. That works the best. Uh, also the precision boost. This is for uh, AMD. I have the 9800X 3D. Uh, paired with a 5080, RTX 5080. And uh, this is my preci uh, precision boost uh, settings enabled. And uh, I do the overdrive scaler to f uh, 5x. And the rest is auto, I think. Um, let me go back. I have the core tunings configuration for gaming. This, I, I actually feel a lot of uh, the difference with this I think that is usually usually on auto for me it is level two and core performance boost I also tried the AI optimized right now that just enabled it uh, yesterday I felt with these changes uh, I felt a big difference uh, overall uh, I'm not sure what uh, one thing that made the biggest difference. But uh, with all these changes, level 2, AI optimized, uh, performance, and uh, turbo game mode disabled. Uh, it's hard to know what this really does, uh, other than in some games it works, because some games is not that fond of the SMT, simultaneous multi-threading. You can test with this on and off with uh, Tarkov. I'm, maybe it works better with this enabled. But I, I don't, I don't, I don't see that big difference, really. Uh, so this is the settings I, I have. There's nothing more down here to change. I disable this. Not sure that is doing that much with Tarko, though. And then I also go and disable the uh, integrated graphics card with uh, my uh, CPU. Also here in AMD overclocking, I go into precision boost overdrive. Uh, I used advanced and then motherboard. And uh, this is the settings I have here. CPU boost overclock overdrive to positive plus 25. Curve optimizer is disabled. And this one is enabled. SOC and core LOC mode. Eco mode I put 205 watts. This is what works for me. Like, yeah, I I guess many of you have more knowledge about stuff. So please comment down below if you see uh, stuff that I might be doing wrong. That's uh, If there's stuff working better for you, just tell me. Uh, with these settings, I get a lot more stable frames in Tarkov. Like there's a big difference there. Uh, I got uh, before I did the, especially the level two the, uh, thing. 
Uh, before I had like from 6 to F, 60 FPS to like 200 FPS and all between. Like the, the drops are insane. Uh, and when I put on these settings, uh, it's much more stable. Like it's generally always uh, above 100. And uh, this is, I can also show you my settings in, in, uh, in Tarkov. Well, this is unpacking. I just got an update. Uh, very important thing to do, or at least think about, is that you need to uh, X out the, most of your programs. Like, there's no reason to have uh, like Discord if you don't use it, and Steam and all those softwares uh, in the background. Uh, ideally, there should be l as little as possible of icons down here. Like, if you don't use Spotify, don't don't have it running in the background. And let's boot the game. Yes, and then we are in. Go to graphics settings and uh, uh, 1440p. I use boardless. Uh, overall settings custom like high, medium. This can uh, impact performance quite well, quite quite much. And I use high, T A A high, low off, off, off. 1x off, high performance, high on, on. And the uh, game. Here we have the automatic RAM cleaner and use on the physical course. That is why I use. I am not sure. I will use this a lot on and off, like switching between it sometimes. I'm not sure if it does that much really, but uh, I have it on right now. With these settings, I have um, 200 FPS, like on woods, usually around 200. Um, the dips is rarely less than 100 FPS. And pre these changes, before I did these changes, um, usually all, almost all the time down to below like 60 FPS. And the frame times is there; they are really low as well. So. With these changes, you should be uh, get uh, you should get rid of those like FPS drops. So good luck. Hope you hope you make the same results as I do. Uh, as I said, if you know more than me, please tell me so down below. Like educate me. Like friendly, of course. Let's have a friendly debate down in the comments. Here you can see the FPS. Yeah, I, above 300 FPS sometimes. Uh, this is actually really good. <laughs> if you watch my FPS up in the uh, right corner. Going to med camp. The 60 minutes left in the raid. So we can be a lot of uh, scams. FPS also, uh, always depends on what's on the map, really, I think. If there's a lot of scabs, the FPS be, may be fluctuating a little bit more. Usually I have way above 200 F FPS with these settings. Yeah. That's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you uh, got some useful information out of this. Uh, and uh, leave a like, leave a sub, and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Peace.